If you've ever wanted to create cinematic videos without the hassle of learning complicated editing software or spending hours on the traditional workflow of writing scripts, sketching storyboards, generating images and editing clips, you're definitely going to want to see this. I'm Daniel, and in this video we are taking a closer look at the latest release from Vidu, their Q1 model, and in particular, the brand new Reference to Video feature. This is the kind of tool that makes you rethink what's possible with AI video generation. It lets you turn multi-image references and a short text prompt into a smooth, professional-looking video in just a few minutes. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's jump right in. What is Vidu? So let's break down what this tool actually is. Vidu is an AI-powered video generation platform. What it does is take your input, that could be just text, images, or both, and build a video that looks polished and complete. You don't need to stitch frames together manually, you don't need fancy software, and you don't need to spend hours learning how to animate or edit. But what really makes this latest update special is the reference to video feature in the Q1 model. This tool lets you upload up to seven reference images. These could be character sketches, backgrounds, objects, or even props that you want to appear in your video. Then you simply describe what should happen in your scene using a short prompt. Vidu uses those references and your text to generate a full video that keeps your visuals consistent from start to finish. That means your character stays on model, your setting doesn't shift between frames, and everything flows together in a way that looks natural. I've used a few other AI tools that try to do this kind of thing, but the results often have issues. The character changes appearance halfway through, or the background flickers, or there are strange artifacts in the video. What I noticed right away with Vidu is how stable and clean the output is. The Q1 model does a great job preserving detail and delivering smooth motion, and the style stays locked in throughout the video. Getting started. Let me show you how Vidu's reference to video feature works. First, I've uploaded my reference images. You can see the character and the Neon City background. You can add up to seven images, and Vidu uses them to keep everything consistent from start to finish. No flickering frames or off-model characters. Next, I type out my prompt. In this case, a figure goes through a neon lit city at night, rain falling, cinematic camera angles. It's that simple. No special syntax or complicated commands. Now, before generating the video, I can adjust a few key settings. I've set the duration to 5 seconds and the resolution to 1080p for crisp quality. For movement amplitude, basically how dynamic the camera feels, I'm choosing medium. So it has that cinematic look without being too much. I'm keeping the aspect ratio at 16x9 for widescreen, but you can switch to 9x16 or 1x1 depending on where you'll post it. I'm generating just one version for now, but you can create multiples if you want. There's also an off-peak mode if you're generating during busy times. Once I hit generate, video processes it all. And in just a few minutes, I have a smooth, polished video that sticks closely to my references. No weird jumps, no mismatched frames, just clean, cinematic results. What stood out the most is that I didn't have to spend any time fixing or adjusting things afterward. The output was clean and it captured the vibe I was aiming for on the first try. Let's try another cool sample. I've uploaded my reference visuals. The main character, a flaming horse, and a fiery biker. My prompt, image 1 is riding on image 2 alongside with image 3. In under a minute, video turns that into a smooth, cinematic clip. A man on a blazing horse riding through dramatic scenery, with a flaming biker keeping pace. The visuals stay sharp and consistent, just as I imagined. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. What else can Vidu do? While reference to video is the star of the show here, Vidu actually offers several other useful features that make it a flexible tool for different types of projects. There's also an image to video feature, you can upload a starting image and an ending image. Add a text description of what's supposed to happen in between, and Vidu will generate a smooth transition. It's really useful if you want to show progression or transformation between two states. Another cool feature is text to video. With this, you don't need to upload any images at all. You simply write out a description of the scene you want, and Vidu builds the video from that. It's great for quickly bringing an idea to life or creating something from scratch. What's nice is that it works well for both realistic and artistic styles. 
So whether you want a cinematic vibe or something more stylized, Vidu can handle it. And the platform itself is pretty user-friendly. You don't have to mess with tons of complicated settings. You see, guys, the default options usually give you a good result. But if you want, you can adjust things like how dynamic the camera movement is or how subtle the transitions should be. Final thoughts. Ok, my friends, overall, I think Vidu's reference to video feature is one of the most promising AI video tools out there right now. It's perfect if you want to create videos that look great without needing to spend a ton of time editing or animating. The results speak for themselves. Smooth, consistent cinematic videos with minimal effort. If you are curious to see what it can do, definitely check out the link in the description. And use my code to get extra credits when you sign up. That way you can try it out for yourself and start creating right away. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like or subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, until next time.